I've created a very quick spreadsheet here. It basically shows monthly income. It's got my rent, travel, food, and so on as my expenses going out, what those total expenses are, and the amount left over. What I want to do is basically create different scenarios. So I can change my income just in case I've got a promotion, change jobs, what might happen to my rent, travel, food, etc. And see which one of those is going to give me the best outcome. Now I could make a copy of my worksheet and then just change the figures in each one of those. However, there's a handy tool for this called Scenarios. And what that allows me to do is put in figures and instantly recall them just using that one sheet. So the first thing I need to do, I'm just going to select all the cells that might change. So I'm going to select that one. Hold down the control key and select these here because any one of these could change. These two here are formula, so they're not going to change. So what I do next is go into Tools, choose Scenarios, and my Scenario Manager appears here. And it says that there are no scenarios defined. Now there's something I want to show you on this, which is going to mean that I'm going to need to go back to the spreadsheet and make a change. I'm going to click on Add to add a scenario. And the first one I always do is an original that always keeps the original figures I have. I'm just going to click on Add. I'm going to call it Original. You can see here, these are the cells that are going to be changing, B1 and B3 through to B11. If I hadn't selected them first, I could go and select them now, just by clicking and dragging and selecting on the spreadsheet. I can put in a comment here as to whatever I'd like it to say about this one. So I could get rid of what it says there. So I'm just going to put in here, these are the, the original figures. So I can come back to them. You don't need to put anything in there at all. You can choose protection, prevent changes and hide as well, which aren't actually relevant for this because we're not going to be applying protection. I'm going to click on OK, and up pops the Scenarios, Values dialog box. And you'll see here it says it's put in B1 with the dollar signs, 2000, and we happen to know that that is the monthly income. B3 is the rent and so on. But if I was really looking at this, I might not know so easily what each of these are, and I'd prefer it to have something a bit more descriptive. I'm going to click on Add because I'm going to click on OK because we know that these figures are going to be OK for this and I'm not too worried about what I'm changing. But we're going to fix that. I'm going to click on OK. I'm now just going to close this, because what we need to do is go through naming these cells here. And when I do that, it will actually make it a lot easier to use. There is a tutorial on naming cells and ranges. But very quickly, there's my monthly income. I click here in the name box. I type in a name. You can't use spaces or any unusual characters, but underscores are fine. I press Enter, and it's put it in there. You'll see that if I click back on it, it's there. If I want to give this one here, call it Rent, Food, Travel, basically what it says here. Just highlight all of those. Click on Insert. Go to Name, and I'm going to choose Create. And I'm going to get it to take the names from the left-hand column here that I've highlighted and apply it to each of these. So I'm just going to click on OK, and you'll see now, looking at the top corner here, as I click on each one, they've all been named. Just so that you know, naming cells and ranges does have another use, so you should go and have a look at the tutorial on naming cells and ranges, in that if you click on this list here, if I was to choose, say, shopping, it jumps that cell directly to there. I could be on a completely different sheet, and again, if I choose monthly income, it takes it to there. So a great navigational tool. Go and check out that other tutorial. I'm going to go back now to my scenarios. I'm just going to click on Tools again, Scenarios. There it says there's my original one. I'm going to add another one now. And in fact, you can see here it says Changing Cells. Because that one on its own is selected, it now says Monthly Income. I'm going to click on Add. This scenario name, we're going to call it Promotion. There's the cells again. I'm not too worried about this. And the promotion is promotion to manager. So we're going to click on OK. 
And now you'll see, rather than having the cell references, here it actually has the names. So being promoted to manager, I'm going to get 2,500. And the only problem is, is that I will be going out a bit more. So I'm going to change that to 450. Now I could click on OK to go back to my Scenarios Manager window, or I can add another scenario right now. I'm going to click on Add. I'm going to click on Add. And this one is, I can put in New Company. So there's a new company that have offered me a job. And let's just put that in there. Click on OK. Um, they're offering me 3000 a month. But I'm going to have to travel a bit more. And I'll probably have a bit more in the way of going out. And I could keep clicking on Add and adding in more and more. But I want to show you what it does now. So let's just click on OK. Here are my scenarios. I can go back into any of them, click Edit, make any changes, OK, make any of those changes to it, and so on. I can delete any of them at any time. And when I save this workbook, it's actually going to save all of these scenarios in there so I can come back to them at any time. So you can see down here, it actually has my original figures. So I want to see what happens if I choose my promotion. If I click on Show, what it does, you can see it actually changed the figures here, and I can see the amount left over is 740. If I want to go back to Original, I can click on it and hit Show. You'll see here it's got my comment down here. So if I click Show, you can see it's changed it back. So the promotion is actually a lot better off, which you would expect. Now, I don't have to click on Show each time. I can actually just double click. So if I go to Original, I can double click Promotion and New Company. And very obviously, I can see which one is going to be the best option for me. It's going to be the new company, even with all the additional expenses. But if I'd like to see a summary of this in one go, what I can do is click on this Summary button, and it will create a brand new spreadsheet that shows me all of those. So I'm going to click on Summary. The Scenario Summary is, is what it's going to create, not a pivot table. I'm not interested in the pivot table for this. And it's telling me that it's going to show me what the amount left over is going to be. And I could actually also, if I wanted to, say that I want to see the total expenses as part of that summary. The most important factor after having the right job and being happy with it is how much money you're going to have left over at the end of each month. So if I click on OK, it creates a new sheet for me. And you can see here it's got this summary. There you go. It tells me all of my expenses. It tells me here all of the cells that could change. Now, I didn't name these two, but that one is my total expenses. That's my total outgoings. And you can see here which one is which. And you can see on this that it's actually showing you the current values, the original, the promotion, and the new company. So that basically gives you a good rundown, and instantly you could see here that that's probably the best option. So I just chose that the wrong way around. That one there is the total outgoings, that one there is the total outgoings, and that one there is the amount left over. I can actually change them. These spreadsheets are not linked together, it's just created them. So that one there is total left over. This one here is total expenses. What you will see on the side here is these outlines. And you'll see it's got these little minus signs here. What you can do is if this will allow these rows to be collapsed, so effectively hidden. I may not need to see this. All I'm interested in is this. If I click on that minus sign there, you'll see it collapses it down just to show me that. So a way of sort of summarizing what you've got. If I click on the plus sign, it expands it out. So once again, if I hit the minus sign, hit that one, although that doesn't show anything. And you can see a little summary of them. So that is Scenarios in Excel 2003.